Hi, I'm Ted, and I'm going to show you how to compute variance and covariance in, in Excel. Uh, these are both very basic statistical uh, calculations. Um, I have them on a, a spreadsheet here. Every the population variance is almost an identical cal uh, calculation. It's always somewhat lower than the sample variance, and its formula is, um, is almost the same as you can see. The sample variance is var.s, and then the population variance is var.p. The population variance um, assumes that the sample is representative of the, of, the, of the population. And let me just show you what the difference in the formulas are. Um, okay, so you can go in Excel, at least in this version of Excel, and you can um, highlight the formula. Go in as if you're editing the formula, and you can actually click on whatever is highlighted. It's a blue underlined hyperlink. And it will, it will pop up um, the Excel help over here that tells you about the, the particular function. It's very useful to use. And down in the bottom for the VAR.S function is the formula. And it's just the, uh, the sum of the squares of all the deviations are about the mean. So X is each sample, X bar is the mean, and N minus one is the, well, N is the number of samples. The variance, the sample variance uses n minus one and the population variance uses n in the denominator. So that's the only difference between the two as far as how they're calculated. Um, <clears throat> so that's, that's it for the variance. Well, just one more thing on the variance. Uh, the standard deviation is nothing more than the square root of the variance. So let's just confirm that. So we take the square root of the variance. This is the square root of the sample variance, and down here we're just going to do the standard deviation of this set of numbers, and sure enough, uh, they're they're the same number. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm Ted, and today I showed you how to compute variance and covariance in Excel. Thank you for watching.